vlog. I'm so excited for this vlog because today is Valentine's Day, which I have always loved since I was a kid. I feel like everyone says this in relationships, but even before I ever had a significant other or anything, I've just loved this holiday. My grandpa's an engineer and growing up, we would always do these Valentine's Day box kind of competitions in classes. And I always remember he would make us the coolest Valentine's Day boxes. And ever since then, I've just been such a fan. I do feel a tiny bit unprepared because we got back from Florida last night. I haven't done a ton of stuff. And honestly, we don't really go crazy for Valentine's Day, Aiden and I, we don't do crazy gifts or anything, but I do wanna head out and grab him just a small little gift today. It's about two o'clock. I just finished up a lot of work this morning, headed to dinner tonight. I'm not sure where we're going. It's a surprise, but we have an early dinner at 5.45. I'm really, really excited. And that for me is just my ideal night. I was watching those reels that's like, girls don't want flowers, they actually want, and then they answered all this stuff. I feel like I'm the basic girl who wants flowers and a good dinner that is just my ideal Valentine's Day. I also want to run to my favorite plant shop because if you guys don't know, this fiddle leaf tree that's behind me actually used to be over here. And ever since I moved it, this is just really not my vibe. I feel like it's really, really bare and I just want some greenery over there. So I'm going to see what they have at the plant nursery. I also want to try to make some banana muffins today if we have time. So I'm going to grab some stuff for that, like some healthier banana muffins. I saw this recipe from one of my friends on Instagram and I would love to make them. So we're going to do that. But yeah, I plan on vlogging for the next few days. I'm really excited. I'm feeling a lot better. If you guys have been watching the vlogs recently, I have just been feeling really funky and not myself. Ever since coming back from Florida and just getting more sun, it's a gorgeous day outside. I just feel much more like myself and I'm in such a better headspace. So I just want to say thank you for all the kind comments and messages on the past few videos where I've been feeling that way. I really just appreciate you guys so much. I do want to share what I'm wearing today though, because I love this dress and it's actually from Target. This is the dress. It is so comfortable. I think that they also have this in a bunch of other colors too, but I think for Valentine's Day, this is just so perfect. I'm wearing an extra small and it's still pretty loose on me. So I feel like I would size down if you're going to order online, but I bought this while we were in Florida. This is the corner that I'm talking about. I'm considering actually moving the ladder right here somewhere else because this is just too bare for me. Like I feel like it just needs some sort of greenery. So I'm going to see what the plant nursery has. I go to Rubles in Dallas. I really, really like them, um, but no pressure. I just wanted to stop by. It's also just a moot boo stopping by the plant nursery. So we're going to do that too. I also forgot to mention that Cash's gotcha day was actually yesterday too. So I wanted to pick him up something from a little place called Uptown Pup. They also have his dog food. So we're gonna stop by there and I'm currently grabbing gas. I'm really happy because they recently put in a quick trip by us, which is definitely the elite gas station. It's not even an argument. Quick trip is just superior, so. errands I didn't end up getting a plant I didn't see something that was the right height that I want to get because I'm feeling like I want to get a monstera and then put it in a plant stand but their monsteras were really big and they're also like $200 and so I think later this week probably on Thursday I might go check a different nursery and see if we can find something I did get some stuff at Target I'm gonna put together this little basket for Aiden of a very random collection of things that is honestly not that exciting, but they are practical gifts. Firstly, picked up this card that I thought was super sweet, so I'm gonna fill that out. He really likes Reese's, so I picked up some of these. I also really like these. He needed a new toothbrush, so got him one of these Quip ones because I used to have one of those back in the day and they were really great. This is his favorite gum. I also got him some chapstick because he's been needing that for his car. And that is everything. So yeah, we don't go crazy on Valentine's Day, but I just want to put together a little something. And I also got cash a treat, but I left it in the car. So I'm going to go grab that, put this stuff away, and then start on our muffins too because I also found some nice spotty bananas. So we're going to use these. I was really happy that they had some that were not super green. up this cupcake for cash. I think it's just applesauce, peanut butter, banana. It has really good ingredients. Want it? Come here. Oh, is that good? 
Is that good? He always has to take things and eat it on his own. He will like will not eat something in front of me. I cannot believe it's been two years since we got cash. It's absolutely crazy to me. I feel like it's been the quickest two years ever. Obviously, he's such a big part of our life and I'm always so thankful to celebrate when we got him two years ago. It's always fun too that it lines up with Valentine's Day. I'm gonna make these banana muffins now. I will have the recipe linked down below. Half the reason why I wanna make them. Not muffin tins, just muffin liners. I saw Kristen John's link these and they just make muffins look so much cuter when you bake them in there. So let's do it. It is the next day. I've actually been working on a different video this morning and doing some edits on that. But last night was so much fun with Aiden. We ended up going to Carbone. It was so nice. I wish I was someone who didn't like nice dinners because they are obviously quite expensive, <laughs> but it was so much fun um, to go somewhere new. And also because Carbone, I'm pretty sure started in New York City. So it was a really sweet night. And tonight I'm really looking forward to it because we're meeting up with our friends, Chad and Tori, they're in town. I'm sure you guys know them on YouTube, but we're gonna go grab dinner again with them tonight and just hang out so it should be good i'm about to make myself a little pick me up for the afternoon and as you guys know i've talked about how i've been trying to cut out my afternoon coffee as of lately and just not consume too much caffeine but every now and then i do like to do some sort of fun drink in the afternoon whether that be kombucha or sparkling water and one of my favorite fun drinks to do that's not coffee is matcha and this is the matcha that i've been using lately it's the peak sun goddess matcha i love this one especially because it is ceremonial grade which is really important whenever you're picking up matcha but also it has so many different skin benefits within just your matcha it contains antioxidants and chlorophyll that helps detoxify your skin from within i was actually watching my friend mikhail jancy on youtube and she was talking about how she does kind of like this lazy girl version of an iced matcha and essentially you just take your matcha packet so these come in really handy little packets that are just one serving. You just put this in the frother with any type of milk, whether you want regular milk or plant-based milk, and then you blend it all up and just pour it over ice. And I know that's not the traditional way to make matcha, but sometimes you just don't wanna pull out the whisk and heat up your water and all that jazz. And so I've been doing that lately and it is so nice, so easy. And what's really great too is that the matcha actually comes in a skin duo. So this is the Peak BT Fountain Youthful Skin Deep Hydration. This is actually one of those electrolyte drinks, which is so nice for hydration it's a really pretty pink color and it has just a really light taste to it i don't like anything that's too overpowering and so i love that this is just super light it's nice if you're trying to get more hydration and especially drinking both of these together it contains lots of good ceramides and hyaluronic acid which is really great for your skin and just improving skin texture and really just hydrating your body from the inside out which i really appreciate and for a limited time you can get 15 percent off plus free shipping for life on peaks radiant skin duo which includes both the matcha and the BT fountain. And you'll also get a complimentary starter kit, which is super cute. It comes with a beaker and a frother, which is perfect for just mixing up your little fun afternoon, morning, whatever drinks. You can just visit peaklife.com slash Michelle Reed to get that offer. I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check them out, but I'm going to go ahead and take my eyes to matcha, get some work done, and I'll catch up with you guys later. But I did want to talk about something because while I was working on this video today, I've shared in recent videos how I've just not really been feeling myself. And I think that a big reason why is I have not been feeling super inspired creatively with YouTube and Instagram and that's a thing that I go through periodically it's just part of having this job but a big reason why is because I have been on here for a very long time if you guys have stuck around with me over the years <laughs> I give you major credit because it has been 10 plus years. I'm actually working on this project with my dad right now because he's doing a presentation for work and I have just been thinking about 
my time on YouTube. It's easy to feel like you are kind of losing sight of what is trending, what is popular. I think all of our attention spans are just so much smaller now, which I get it, mine is too. And so I've been feeling just this pressure lately, which is really weird because I've never really felt this before. And with my YouTube channel over the years, I have always really stuck true to who I am as a person. And I've just been feeling so much pressure lately. Like anytime I create something like, oh, this isn't trendy. Oh, people aren't gonna like this. Oh, this is old. I don't know, I've just been very in my head when creating content and Today was the first day when I'm editing this video that I just told myself, I'm not gonna try to do that anymore. I'm not sure if this makes sense, and maybe it does if you create any sort of videos or you're in any sort of creative sphere, but I think it's easy to feel burnt out. I don't necessarily think I feel burnt out. I would love to know as a viewer what you appreciate watching, especially on YouTube. And I'm not saying this to get sympathy or anyone to tell me how much they like my stuff. That's not even it. I just want to be open that if you feel this way ever on like YouTube and Instagram, if you do this job too, or if you do any sort of creative field that I feel you and it can be a journey and a process. I am really looking forward to spring. I just naturally as a person love spring. I do not thrive in winter and colder weather. I think that there's this sort of refreshed spirit that comes with a new season, especially a new season of spring with just color and rebirth. But I'm going to go ahead and get changed. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Here's the fit. This sweater is from my newly. It's from the brand Farm Rio. I really like it. And then these jeans are from Abercrombie. I don't wear these ones too, too often. They have the asymmetrical top to them and I really like them, but I don't wear them that often. So thought we would pull them out for the night. It was so nice hanging out with Chad and Tori. We only had like a little bit over an hour, so I feel like there was so much more to talk about, but it was so nice getting to see them. That was also their first night out after having Micah, so it was very special. And I wanted to share something. So I have talked about this product so much on videos lately, but I cannot express how much this has been a miracle product in my skincare routine because as you can see right now, I do have this pimple that I did just mess with which has been my goal not to do that in the month of february and i just did it but besides that let's cover that up my skin has gotten so much better i definitely have some scarring on this side but it was so much worse before and i have been using this product for a couple of months now but i ran out of it and there's probably a couple weeks that i didn't have it and my skin was just not nearly as great I just started it back up again probably a week ago or so and my skin is already so much better. It's the vitamin C booster treatment from Trilogy. So good and I feel like if I keep with this for months and months, it really is gonna fade a lot of these acne scars that I have on this cheek. I did have a lot of nights of poor sleep between traveling and everything and so these guys came up but my skin is getting so much better. It just looks so much brighter and tighter after I use that product so I'll have that link. A and I are about to go watch our show. We're watching 1923 and we've been saving this episode so we're gonna watch it tonight and I will catch you guys in the morning tomorrow. getting ready for the day right now it is thursday morning i just worked on a video this morning i sent that into a brand which feels good and i'm getting ready and i wanted to mention a while ago i talked about how i switched over to some of these ilia products this one is the true skin serum foundation i never gave an update on how i liked these and this shade you can probably tell right now is a little bit too yellow for me i do think that my skin is a bit more yellow toned but i don't think that this is my perfect shade but i really like the foundation I've been using it for the last month. I will say that it is a bit lighter coverage as opposed to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream that I usually use, but I do like it, especially now that my skin is clearing up a little bit. I really like just how this feels very, very lightweight. I really like that, and I also do really like the concealer. This is the True Skin Serum Concealer. They're both very just glowy and lightweight, so... I wanted to share that. I ideally want to switch over to using a lot more just like non-toxic makeup products. And so this is kind of what I'm starting with. For the rest of the day, I'm actually going to go run and try to find that plant that we tried to find earlier. And I also think I'm going to stop by Home Goods because right now I don't have a proper mirror in the living room. I want to get something that's just a larger mirror, honestly, mostly just to post my outfits with. Like I've been using this mirror that's in our bedroom right now. I've just been moving it into the living room and 
I think it's time to get a proper mirror. So I don't know if I'll actually end up buying anything, but I just wanted to check there because I might end up ordering something online, but I want to see what they have there. And then I also want to run to Trader Joe's to grab some stuff for dinner because I really want to cook tonight. I feel like I haven't cooked in a while, so I'm going to grab some stuff for that. And I also want to grab some flowers too. I want to see if they have any flowers that look like wildflowers. Those are always my favorite to get from Trader Joe's. I'm also wearing Aiden's robe right now. My mom got us these matching robes for a wedding gift and they're like my favorite robes ever and i basically wear both of ours all the time because his is a little bit bigger and sometimes it's just a bit comfier here's the fit for today it's actually so windy and chilly today but we have sun so i have no complaints i'm wearing this scarf that's from madewell cuts tea underneath and then my little shacket is from zara madewell jeans and then my boots are from steve madden let's head out and run these errands Been a very successful trip so far. I got my plant. I tried to go to Rubles, which is where I like to go in Dallas. They have a few different locations. And I checked out a different location, but I still didn't see anything there. I always try to support local shops, but I didn't find what I needed there. But I did find something at Lowe's. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. And then I also stopped at Home Goods. Was a little unsure because it's a Marshalls and a Home Goods in one, and usually they just don't have as much stuff. But I got my mirror. And then I also got a plant stand. So very successful. I'm about to head to Trader Joe's. Also wanted to say that I'm using gift cards that I have today. I had a home goods gift card. That's why I wanted to buy this. I'm not just trying to go crazy right now and buy all this stuff. That would be a lot. I just haven't used a lot of my gift cards that I've had. Wanted to pick that up and I'm trying to really finish our apartment so I can record an apartment tour here soon. And so just grabbing some last minute things before filming that. But let's head to Trader Joe's and then head on back home. Losing track of time with you Another beach pie sunset view Sleeping in the afternoon No place to be I'll give you the quick haul. First and foremost, we have a beautiful bird of paradise. And this is the perfect size because I was looking at some of the Monstera plants at Lowe's and they're just too wide and I definitely needed something that was more lean for the space and I've never had a bird of paradise so I'm really excited we got this and this was $30 at Lowe's which I felt like was a pretty good deal. I'll show you my mirror in a second. I'm not totally set on the mirror yet. I did keep my receipt so we'll see if I want to keep it but for the plant I found this at Home Goods and thought it was so cute as a plant stand so I'm gonna try to set it on this. Again, this might be too bulky for the spot because I don't wanna overcrowd it, but I think that this would be really nice. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna put the plant in a basket and then set it on that. I didn't see any baskets that I liked, but I might have something around here. So we will check on that. At Trader Joe's, they had basically all my favorite flowers, which I was so excited about. First, we have these wax flowers. I love that these just look very organic and more like wildflowers. We have these, it says they are Crispedias. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I really like to throw those in. I also have a lot of those dry that I just have in the bathroom right now. And I was so excited that they had the rainbow baby's breath. I really, really like to throw these in too. And then I just got some eucalyptus to throw in. So I will make some bouquets after we put away all the Trader Joe's food, which I really just got stuff to make dinner tonight. And then a couple of snacks. We go through bananas like nobody's business. And so I picked up those. We got some salad for salad, broccoli for tonight. One of my favorite dinners is a side salad chicken thighs in the air fryer and then also some frozen potato fries potato fries frozen fries and so i wanted to grab those we'll probably do those sometime this weekend i've never had this before but this looked good it's a white bean chicken chili soup it has white beans corn poblano peppers and white chicken meat probably try that for lunch and then i haven't had this hummus in a while but i used to have this a lot in college it's the mediterranean style hummus i remember really liking that back in the day and then i just grabbed some salmon for tonight because i'm making some salmon bowls and then these are one of my favorites too these hot and sweet jalapenos i like to put these on a bunch of different things i honestly just eat these i think they're so good and i I have recently really been into spicy things and so I love those. A couple cans of coconut milk for some coconut rice and then we also just have some laundry detergent. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then probably make the flower bouquets and then we'll test out the little corner. I don't know if I'm feeling up to bringing up the mirror. I might wait till Aiden gets home from work because it's real heavy. But yeah, a very successful trip. 
very, very happy about it all. Okay, here we have it. I put the plant over here. Ignore the basket that it's in. This is just one that I have right now, but I'll probably find something smaller because I do think this basket kind of overwhelms the actual plant holder right there. But I think that it looks so, so cute. And I'm really excited for when I bring the mirror up. I think it'll be nice. I'm either going to mount it to the wall or just lean it. I did just move the blanket ladder over here, which is not the most practical spot because we actually do use these blankets, but I like this little nook for hiding things. It's honestly really nice and someone actually tagged me in this DIY where they hung up planners they had a nook similar to this and they hung up these planners it looked so cute so we might try that in the spring it might be a little bit too much with the pothos I really like that and also these shelves I haven't really styled I've just thrown some stuff on there so I definitely want to try to style those but I really like the little plant over there I love just having greenery everywhere I am not really a minimalist I feel like our living room definitely has quite a bit of stuff in it but it makes me happy I really like it. Okay, it's a little bit later. We ended up bringing up the mirror and I love it. I got this from Home Goods. I think it looks so nice. I don't think I'm gonna mount it on the wall just for one, this is an apartment and also because my plug is down there and I wanna keep that available for plugging in my lights. I just really like the setup and I also love how it looks for photos too when I take those outfit photos. So I'm really happy with that purchase. I'm wearing probably the most unattractive outfit in the world right now. This is Aiden Sherman but it's so comfortable it has a giant hole in it but i don't know what it is about this shirt it's just so comfortable i'm about to make us dinner and i originally planned on making a half baked harvest recipe but i couldn't find the curry paste that i needed at trader joe's and i just decided that i'm gonna go rogue and try to do my own thing i'm gonna try to do air fryer salmon bits with a sauce that I got at Trader Joe's that I'll show you guys with roasted broccoli. And if you know, you know, I never really go rogue on recipes. My mom always told me growing up, if you can read, you can cook because you just follow the recipe. And that's always been my go-to, but because I didn't have that ingredient, I'm just gonna do my own thing. We're gonna see how it turns out. Maybe this will end up being a new favorite recipe. You never know. And then after dinner, we're gonna take cash for a nice long walk, even though it's chilly. I'm just craving a nice walk. So that is the game plan. I'm just feeling really happy today. I feel like I've had a change in spirit, which is really nice. And I'm just really, really thankful for that. I feel like there's a cloud that's been lifted and I'm just, Really, really thankful for that tonight. Okay, I finished dinner and I ended up air frying the salmon for about four minutes and then I took it out and covered it with the Thai sauce that I showed you guys and put it in for two minutes more at 400 and it turned out so well. I really like how they're just like little bite-sized pieces and put it over the coconut rice and the roasted broccoli and it turned out really great. Yes, that's so fun. We came to the dog park and it was closed again. So running around the parking lot, look at him go. Friday, it is Friday morning. Just had a really nice morning routine. Got a workout in, 
walked cash it's a beautiful beautiful day today i'm so so thankful for that so thankful to get more sun i'm just been so attracted to the sun here lately because we have not had too much of it so really sweet to have that and for the rest of today i'm just doing a lot of work in our apartment i have a lot of computer stuff i need to work on i'm actually going to a conference with my dad he's going to this marketing conference and they're talking a lot about influencer marketing and so i'm actually going to be on a panel which is very out of my comfort zone i've done this a couple of times before but it's not something I do regularly so I am prepping some slides for that and just figuring out what I want to say so I'm gonna work on that this morning and then I also just have some other personal work stuff that I need to get done last night before bed I was looking back at old photos kind of more so over like the summertime and the springtime and it motivated me to book an f45 class because we have not been f45 since january 2nd because i signed up for a class for tomorrow tomorrow saturday and i plan on actually taking off saturday i'm not going to post a video tomorrow i'm just going to chill i feel like i need a day to just have like a sabbath day of chilling out but i did want to get just a later workout in so i'm going to do a 10 30 class because i miss being that strong i have lost so much of that muscle if you guys remember that we would go to f45 all the time i do think i was in a phase where i was going a little bit too often and now i try not to do as much of like the cardio hit stuff just for my body but I miss lifting heavier weights and being in a class with a trainer and I've been doing Pilates every now and then I really like it but part of me just misses I don't know feeling that strength again and so I really want to get back into it especially with the springtime coming and so I'm excited to go to a class tomorrow it should be a lot of fun I also wanted to share my outfit because I got some stuff from Cezanne in the mail which I'm so thankful they sent over a few pieces but I love their stuff it is just so feminine and classic and timeless and it's kind of inspired me to go more towards this direction with fashion i feel like i haven't really had a style for the last i don't know couple of years or so but i used to dress a lot more like this i would say in college because i had a dress code at my college i really would just wear more like business casual more like feminine i would just dress up more often and i really miss it because even though i'm just working from home today it feels nice just wearing something that makes you feel confident this is what the sweater looks like it's so beautiful i got this in a size small and i just love the like crochet detailing on the top and then i also really like the skirt i'm just wearing my slippers right now but i cannot wait to wear this in the springtime it's just so comfortable and again just feminine and beautiful they are more investment pieces i would say but I really do think it pays off because this stuff is just so nice. I also put up one of these cozy ambiance videos. I like to do this when I'm doing an entire day of working from home. It just sets the vibe. It usually has jazz music in the background or something really calming. And so this is a spring one since we are channeling the spring vibes here lately, but really well, later, like I'm just hanging out with Cash right now. And I wanted to end off this vlog because we were just having a very chill Friday night. Eden is actually grilling us some steaks tonight. I'm so excited because my sister-in-law is actually about to have her baby here soon. We think she is due any day now and we might have a nephew this weekend. So I'm really looking forward to that. So grateful for you guys and just so grateful to be feeling a lot better. Um, you guys mean so much to me and I will catch you guys in my next vlog. Cash also says bye too.